Uh, hello again, this is the third video. We're going to continue with the establishment of uh, our one-to-many relationship. The state uh, is going to be the one, and uh, the city is the many. Uh, luckily for us, we were able to uh, establish the <clears throat> relationship through the database tools. As you notice, it's one-to-many. Clearly, we use the state abbreviation as the primary key from the one. We added it to the uh, many table as the foreign key. Notice that the foreign, I'm sorry, the many table has its own primary key. That should never be repeated. The fact that state abbreviation can be repeated, repeated as many times as there are city that belongs to a specific state. And the state abbreviation in the state, of course, it's a primary key, should never ever be repeated, cannot be repeated. Uh, because the database has the mechanism that prevents you from or allowing you to add uh, another value. Let's go ahead and uh, go back to uh, continue with the video by creating a form, which is, as I said earlier, it's much better data entry that will allow us to create what we have, uh, a form that will allow the end user to enter the data without any trouble. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you notice, I'm going to start by creating the form through the wizard. And the wizard is going to be able to uh, uh, allow me to uh, create the form. But because we have two tables, we need to make sure that we start with the one. I'm going to go ahead and put the one on the top. As you notice, uh, state means the abbreviation, population, size, region. I'm going to move everything to the selected field. I'm going to do the same thing for the city, but I don't need really the ID because the ID is going to be entered anyway. So I don't need the space that will actually take away from my view. I'm going to put the city name, size, crime rate, population. The state abbreviation, once you become uh, knowledgeable about uh, how the foreign key works with the forms, you don't need really to add it because thematically it will be added. But I'm going to add it in order for you to see uh, uh, how actually the database is going to add that foreign key directly. And then, as you notice, since the state abbreviation mentioned in both tables, uh, it did actually uh, access, uh, precede that name with the table name. So table city, it knows where it's coming from. The same thing here, uh, the first one, the state abbreviation coming from the table state. So when the uh, field name is repeated with the same spelling, uh, not to confuse which is with which, uh, the uh, database management system always precede that attribute with the name. Of course, if, if we're doing it ourselves, as we will do in the SQL later, uh, we have to write it ourselves to tell which table uh, we're accessing at that moment. Let's go ahead and say next. <clears throat> Make sure that the table state on the top. Don't click on the table city so it'll mix them together as one big record so make sure that table state is on the top and make sure that form within sub form and we're going to go next leave it as data sheet and i'm going to change the state name to the right prefix which is frm and also you could say here frm <coughs> uh, city and open this form to view to enter information i'm going to leave it uh, actually, I could go ahead and say modify the form design, which I will actually use at this time the easier uh, format that it was added recently to access, which is uh, it's a layout or outline actually. Uh, as you will see in a second, you will see uh, the layout. The layout actually it's called layout view, and that's when we need to really tweak uh, the. Of course, the form is where we data we enter the data. The layout is going to be how to assist us to make the uh, data looks pretty. And also <clears throat> the design, which can be used uh, for later, where we actually add a calculated field or change things around. Uh, it's much more profound way, much more, uh, you know, uh, techn techn technologically more advanced than the layout, which is the layout only deals with how it looks. But for the design, you could really make it uh, much more uh, interactive in a way that you could never be able to do it with the layout. 
Okay, let's go ahead and go to the design. <coughs> I need to go back to the view, the layout of view. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on this one here and make it a little bit large, or maybe in this case smaller, but I want to make it here. All right, let me see if everything is showing. There we go. The very first thing I want to do is to go ahead and uh, maybe that's too small. That's like Excel when you have enough space. It shows you the pound sign. Uh, this is, should be a little bit. There we go. There we go. And notice, as I said earlier, uh, how the database is going to react to another entry. Uh, this is, I could go ahead and change this to uh, state and city. And I could call it data entry. And I could go ahead and make it look a little bit better. It's all decoration in this moment. See that? All right. And I even I could go ahead and press the shift key to select all these and make this is basically bold and something like this. Uh, what I want you to notice, there are two navigation bars. Uh, here, this one here, is the navigation for the city. So I, don't, I have only one city. If I go to this one here at the bottom, where I'm hovering my cursor, I have two state. So the first one is to go to the next record. I move to Texas. This is to actually go to the very last, last record. And this is to allow me to enter another record. So I'm going to go ahead and add, enter Maryland here, but I cannot enter it in the layout, I have to change the view under the home ribbon to the form view in order to allow me to enter data. So I'm going to go ahead and say Maryland, and it's MD, uh, the population, let's say 7 million, and I'll go ahead and change that also later to make it look a little bit more in size is this small, and region is northeast, okay? And as you notice, <coughs> I could have click uh, here and add cities. And then I'm going to say here Baltimore. Size is very large. At large, we already state crime rate is very high. And population is 2 million people there. Uh, 2 million, that's six zeros. And ha, look at this. Immediately, the database entered MD as the foreign key because the form, when we link the form together, it brought along with it the relationship so it knows that the subform is actually the many in the table and immediately since I'm displaying Maryland in this case immediately it's going to add Maryland as the foreign key which is really something we had to do manually in the table if you recall earlier in the first videos when we established this it made it actually the second video where we had to make sure that we enter the data ourselves I could continue with this, and I could say here, and this is a small city, uh, low crimes, 25,000 people there, and yeah, that's enough, and I see it's Maryland here as well, and if I could go ahead and uh, go back one, this is Texas, I could add uh, Houston, and this is very large large size, uh, high, and that's 4 million people there, okay, and that's for Texas, and we could go ahead and say Seguin, and that's low, small, very small, uh, I don't know if it's high, I'm just going to put it high in 25,000 uh, people here, and I could go ahead and put another one, San Antonio, and it's large city. I don't know if it's high, I'm assuming, and this is one, two, six, one million, two hundred thousand. All right, that's uh, okay, and we could go ahead and see where Florida is. We could go ahead and put a couple of those. Key West, here we go. It's very small, uh, low, and at 25,000 also, and we could put another one here let's say Tampa and that's a large city and it is high and it's probably one million there and I misspelled here very high I need to go ahead and make sure 
the business build, I could easily change it, of course, in, there we go. All right, and not only this, I can go ahead and do it in the design so this kind of mistake doesn't really follow me all over the places. So what I'm gonna do here are, as you notice, if I go to the, uh, the, the layout, it's gonna ask me to save it. Of course, everything is saved and type each item, edit list. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Need to delete that. So I'm gonna say okay, but I edit that one here because it didn't allow me. I didn't actually put the list in the list. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit the list myself again. One more, one second here. I'm gonna go to the city, close this. And I say, save everything of course i gotta go to the city here and go to the design all right and i think it's uh here we go look up wizard i'm gonna type this one more time it's gonna be high very high now it's built correctly high middle and low I'm going to say next. Uh, I'm not going to limit. I could limit it, but I'm going to leave it without limitation here. So it will be okay if I go back to the state. The state is already open, so I'm going to go ahead and say okay. It's already open through the user interface and cannot be manipulated programmatically. I say okay. So let me go ahead and close that first. And then I'll go ahead and do close. E everything you do, basically, everything you do with the design need to be saved. So I'm gonna close everything here and I go back to the state. You know, it's a lot of work. I know, I agree with you. And notice that, uh, I just said, uh, this is this is the correct way here. We need to make sure that the crime rate is gonna give me the right spelling, which I corrected. But to do it, we have to go through the design. I'm going to stop here and we're going to continue with the query where the actual action takes place in the, in a database. That's why a whole language called SQL structured query language because uh, databases actually uh, manipulated through the query more than anything else. Okay. But of course, without a solid table, the query would be useless. I'll see you in the next video. This is a lot shorter than the one that we did in the previous one, so we're going to stop right here. See you in the fourth video. Bye-bye.